Hello! In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create a sample CRUD module into our existing Laminas MVC application. CRUD stands for Create, Replace, Update and Delete. So these are a bunch of the methods uh, used to manipulate a, a set of data uh, in the program. We have two different ways of creating such a CRUD module. So the first one is to use online tools available at laminastarterkit.omelac.com. After visiting the site, we can open the online tools menu and just find a CRUD generator option. Let's click on it. We can see a description of, of the tool. Uh, we have also a few required Laminas components, which have to be installed into our Laminas MVC application. Uh, plus one Lamina Starter Kit component. So this is one of the uh, components available at the same site, which has to be pre-installed before running the online generator. Okay, um, we already have all the required components installed into our project. So let's see how we can create a, a module now. Okay, so we have to provide three basically properties. So it's a model name, module name and a set of properties okay so the model name is what the entity is about so in our case let's say we're going to use books as an example a module name is usually an application uh, but it can be anything uh, which is set already in your in your project uh, it's just a namespace really Properties is the list separated by uh, by a comma, and it's it, they represent the properties of the model, but also a columns inside the table for that particular entity. So let's say our book will contain a title, description, and price. Okay, let's hit generate we'll get a first file displayed, which is a crude underscore books dot SQL. And it basically just prints out a SQL to create a table for the required module. So let's copy that code. Let's open PHP my admin and make sure that we have a laminas underscore DB database table selected or any other uh, used database that we have that we want to use. And let's paste the snippet into the console uh, and just pressing control enter right we have a new table with a set of three different well four really different um, columns so the id title description and price which we specified previously of course we have a bunch of different files which we'll have to copy and paste into our project and the information about where which file goes it's actually listed underneath in the setup the instruction section and actually work quite well. Uh, you won't have to do anything else apart from that. Um, that gives you more control of what actually goes into your project and you can, you can actually modify the code as, as you like and you know where things go and why. Um, however, the second option to create a CRUD module is to use a command line. So let's do that instead. Uh, let's open exam control panel. Let's click on a shell button and let's navigate to our project root folder first. So cd docs and then cd laminas mvc test. Okay, with that in mind, let's go back to the site and let's copy the whole example usage line. Okay, let's open back the the shell command let's press let's press the uh, right button of the mouse uh, to paste the contents and let's just modify the information that we that we need um, so in our case our name is uh, for the module is books application stays the same for the module and we just need to rename the properties so we'll have a title again then the description and the last field would be a price. Okay, let's hit enter. 
we'll get a bunch of information about what actually is happening, a similar information uh, of what what files have been created, uh, as opposed to um, the online tool, which actually gives you the contents as well. We have a, a brief summary of what goes where. So we have a, a new controller, books controller being created, and then a new model, a row set with getters and setters, a new form for create and update of the book, a bunch of the view files for each of the method. Uh, and then on, pause, on top of that, we have a new config uh, called generated.crude.php, which will have the routing and dependencies uh, for the controller and the module. Uh, we also have a SQL script created file, but we don't actually need to use it right now because we already imported it in the previous step. So with that in mind, let's open a IDE just to verify if we have the, uh, the controllers and the configs in place. So we have a application config and then generated.crude php over here which has the routing already specified we have books controller and we should have also a a bunch of the view files under the books folder there they are okay so with that in mind let's go back to the module uh, generated.crude.php sorry for that uh, and let's notice that in order to actually trigger the new controller, we just need to type slash books in the URL. So let's do that. Let's open our Laminas MVC on the localhost and let's type books. Okay, so we have a index method which should display a list of the um, books available in the database, obviously because we have a empty table this doesn't actually show anything but if we'll use a add book link and let's let's type a uh, laminas mpc and description really cool book and the price let's say i don't know 19.99 and voila we have a sample row inserted into the table Let's make sure we can create another book. So let's call it, let's climb Zend, uh, and then some Zend book description with a price of 9.99. Okay, let's press that. Now we have two different rows. Um, let's say we want to update one of these. So let's click edit on the Zend one. Let's change the title to Zend three. Let's press save and we have a updated file. The last thing to do is to make sure that we can actually remove an item as well. So this will fulfill the whole crude principle. Let's click on remove. And now we have a confirmation page about deletion. So let's confirm, press on delete. And there you go, the item is gone and we only have only one book on the list. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this and thank you for listening.